How to square the circle of expanding public school-based pre-kindergarten services beyond the state-mandated minimum of 10 hours a week to include students from towns outside of Manchester, where a -a five-day-a-week, public tax-dollar-supported program has been in place since 2010 and that are part of the Taconic and Green Regional School District, was the sole item on the agenda of a special meeting held Monday, March 18th, at the Manchester Elementary Middle School. The issue confronting the Regional District's Board of Directors and educational officials is that while parents in Manchester have enjoyed a -a five-day-a-week program up to now, with the creation of the Taconic and Green Regional School District, an issue of educational equity has arisen. If children from Manchester can obtain a five-day program, so should those from other towns in the district, directors believe. And many do, but obtain them from private providers. Those providers are paid directly out of the pocket by parents of the children after the 10 publicly funded hours provided for under legislation known as Act 166, which was enacted in 2014. But that's not a financial option for everybody. But because of state regulations surrounding child care and early education, it's not an option to simply expand the program at MEMS with more teaching staff. In order to accommodate those parents seeking public pre-kindergarten for their four-year-olds, the program at MEMS may have to be rationed down to a two- or maybe a four-day-a-week program, an idea that has encountered stiff resistance from many area parents who rely on a -a five-day-a-week program so they are able to hold down full-time jobs. Several new options were advanced by school superintendent Jacqueline Wilson, such as a five-day program with an earlier dismissal time. Other ideas such as revamping the school district's budget to allow for voucher payments to private providers as an interim step to accommodate the demand, were also discussed at the meeting on the 18th. The money that is provided beyond the 10 hours to those private providers, um, because then we get a little more equity. And as we drive forward, if the program is as successful as I think it's going to be, It will be like the old all-day kindergarten argument of the 80s in which the value of the program is appreciated and seen by everybody. And I think that we can convince the public that this is an important potential increase in their tax rate because the outcome will, from my best experience with my grandchildren, be more and worth it. Head Start, the federal early education program, is also involved since MEMS and Head Start have had a partnership on pre-kindergarten services. But Head Start needs at least a a four-day-a-week program to fulfill its requirements, said Betsy Rathbun Gunn of Bennington County Head Start. Um, Our concern is if it shifts from being a four- to five-day-a-week program to a -a two-day-a-week program, that doesn't meet our requirements anymore because Head Start is very clear about the number of hours that we need to be able to offer. So it's really important that they consider at least a four- to five-day-a-week program. Providing pre-kindergarten services in the mountain towns of Londonderry, Weston, Peru, and Landgrove, where the travel times and transportation may be issues, is another question. Creating a program at the Floodbrook School in Londonderry may have ripple effects on existing private providers, but a broader solution may lie in helping create some childcare options for parents of very young children, three years old and younger, said Representative Kelly Piala. If your plan is to expand and have a public plan at Floodbrook and you're concerned about the private providers there, I would highly recommend talking about the fact that we're a desert for zero to three over the mountain and if it's done thoughtfully and well and in conjunction and partnership with the private providers there is really an opportunity to expand the whole system and create a much better base for zero to five so you know don't make your argument so narrow that you're not making it clear that you're also looking at some some bigger picture things for children in the district. Afterwards, several parents seemed to feel that school officials were seriously grappling with the complexities of the issue. We are happy that the board heard our concerns regarding the two-day and four-day proposals, and I think the board is moving in the right direction. We set the bar really high back in 2010 with an excellent five-day-a-week program. Anything anything that reduces that will will make people unhappy and make people dissatisfied, but we also are one unified school district now, so we do have to make some accommodations. Taconic and Green Board Chairman Herb Ogden described some of the possible next steps after the meeting. There is that the administration starts to prepare a request for an expansion of the program that is here at MEMS. Um, 
bearing in mind that eventually we want to call the attention of the Agency of Ed and Human Services, if they're still involved, that something needs to be done to help the mountain towns because expanding here at MEMS is only going to help some of those folks if they can manage to get their kids down here. We, what we have to do is we have to persuade them that there's not enough private capacity. And one thing that I worry about there is the way it, that I understand the law, we have to show there's not capacity anywhere in our entire district, even though that's really unrealistic because, as I said, uh, if you have capacity at Courier, which is in Danby, that really plays, it's not going to help somebody who lives in Weston. But I think the way the law is written, that's what we have to prove. Ironically, part of the problem is that the former Manchester School District was offering, and which was developed by now Superintendent Wilson when she was the principal at MEMS earlier, was a program that was well ahead of what the rest of the state school districts were offering. And scaling that back now is proving hard. One new director, Rachel Strecker, who first raised concerns about plans to cut back from a five-day, 35-hour-a-week program at an earlier Taconic and Green meeting, and then got elected to the school board during town meeting voting, said she felt a pathway forward was out there. First thing I said was democracy works. Tonight it made it made me feel like democracy worked tonight for the first time, that I was an active part of it, and it felt really good to see um, the board listen to the public and make a decision based on the needs of the you know community. Um, I think it's patience and um, collaboration that's probably going to get us moved forward, uh, thinking that this isn't going to happen right away, um, but if we work together as a community with our legislatures, with our providers, with the board and the schools, that I think we can find a way to offer um, five-day-a-week, full-day pre-K to everyone in our district and hopefully act as an example for school districts throughout the state. For the GNI-TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.